Susie, and it is time to rank the worst to best Lamstein albums. Recommended Volker Ball is the ultimate Rammstein experience. From number seven to number one, seven studio albums by a band that I always prefer when they are operatic and they are serious as opposed to daft. I've always preferred Rammstein when it's epic and focused as opposed to the what we will get to, computer game sort of music, what started their career which takes us to number seven in worst to best albums. We are going to go with Heslead, Heslead, however you pronounce it. This is an album that is good. Ash to ashes, do reek so good, you smell so good, apparently. That's what it means, do reek so good. A lot of Rammstein's titles were very simple and nurse, nursery rhyme German, which I find probably taking the piss out of a lot of people. It's very simple. Radio, a lot of America. Simple titles so people like me can just go, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. I can relate to that. Smart, very good marketing, what they are doing there. Um, instead of wrong titles that people won't get the meaning of, just make it direct and poking fun as well. A lot of irony with Ram Rammstein. Right, this album, Here's a Light does have a lot of good songs but it's underproduced and it was just a start just finding the feet for me with Rammstein it's not a, it has great moments like Seaman Sailor excellent um, song but for every good song there's a few parts like self-titled Rammstein which I don't really like and it was it was literally just playing with a cheap sound it was just testing the waters at number seven. At number six, Zenzucht. With really about three, four powerful songs. Zenzucht, Engel. <whistles> Sounds like Simple Simon out of um, Die Hard with a Vengeance. <whistles> the Whistle, Tia, Bestrafe Mitch, Du Hast, Book Dick. Spilt Me is good, but the last four songs are highly forgettable. And a barring angle, which is fantastic and has a great guitar riff, the rest lacks ambition. Do Hast is great, most known for its <laughs> looping keyboard hypnotic sound, which lures you in, and that's basically the song. I don't even like the Do, Do Hast, Do Hast Mish. I don't even like that. I prefer the chorus, this morning, very anthemic, very dark, very gloomy. And I like I like the buzz around this, this song. It's the best song on the album. Book Dick's all right. Engel's class. Engel is fantastic. Tia's good. Saints Up's a great way to deliver. But this is, again, they, they followed the Family Values tour with this, with Limp Biscuit and Corn. And it's them really trying to break the American market you can hear on this album. And it works, but it's a lot of Euro dance stroke metal. And it's again it's it's progress from the first album, but it's still not enough to take them into the stratospheres as far as I'm concerned. Um that's why it is at number six, which takes us to number five on the list, which is the often slated but not often debated Rosenrot. Frozen Rot, however you pronounce that. This has a really some really good songs on it, really powerful. Um especially the Charlene's Spiteri one, I think it's the Rose and Rock Great. My favourite on this has to be Health Me. It that, that is a great song, it's a fantastic song. There's some really deep songs on this. It's really it's really emotional. I really like this album. I don't. I don't see the hate for it. It does maybe sound a little dated and tired compared to the album they did before this, which I should mention later. And um, I don't want to ruin the surprise for anyone that doesn't know. Uh, but this is more like a B side to that album. Um, so subsequently, it was more laboured um, and less inventional and creative. But it still has some powerful songs on it. Um, Bobis do. 
Rosenrot against Rosenrot. Um, yeah, some good songs. Fear on the Varsa. Some really powerful songs on it, really deep. But again, just not enough in terms of pushing them further. It was it was laboured Ramstein, but it's a still it's a really good album and I highly recommend you check this out. It's not a bad album whatsoever. At number four we go with This is tough but I'm gonna go with Lieb ist for Allah. Lieb ist for Allah. Um, da. <laughs> da special edition. Lieb ist for Allah. Opening track. Ram Lied sounds like Faith No More. With do 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 but the whole album is cinematic and it's got some great grooves and the synths work on this, they don't sound cheap, it sounds rich. And all the way through, I mean, it's do Dave Ray, Mine and Shale, Half Itch, Thruling in Paris is a great song. Uh, yeah, and the second song in. Um, Pussy, I don't really like. I don't, I'm not a fan of Pussy, the song. I'm a fan of Pussy, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not a fan of the song. Um, Lieb is for for our self-titled, great. And I love Rotterdam, which is fantastic, and the opening track in the album. It's brilliant, brilliant comeback after those and Rock wasn't really, didn't, it didn't really like, wow, it wasn't wow. Um, but this is at number five which takes us to number four sorry number three so yeah so that was at number four at number three we go with mutter um this was the album that it was more of a transitional piece of Rammstein. It sort of took them from being on the fringes to right now a global. And I saw them on the tour in 2002 with American Head Charge and Raging Speed on supporting in Manchester. Sona is fantastic. My favourite song on this is Spielo. I know melody in them. My knees, dear. <laughs> great, great, um, very eerie, very operatic, very sad, very emotional. With a do 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 do, the glock, but not glock and spiel, the xylophone sound, kids' nursery, very eerie. Great production all around the album. There's a few songs that get more praise than they should, like Firefly, which is okay. Dinner, dinner. I love Mutter. I love Spielo, I love Adios, I love Nabel at the end. Always reminds me of a dance like like a sinister dance, it's really eerie. Piano, I always think of rich people and yeah, making poor people eat stuff and then kicking them while with that. He's got visions. Um My Hair's Brent, perfect opener. Very operatic again. What Ramstein are great at because it suits Till's voice and Sonna really does. We come the summer. Fire. <laughs> yes, it's brilliant. Um, Ishville again. Ishville, fantastic. I hope I'm doing you justice with the pronunciations. Um, not ick, it's ish. You know, you've got. To, I know a bit. You know. Ich bin sehr gut. Danke schön. Danke schön. It's been dwarf. I know I'm stupid. <laughs> I am stupid. <laughs> anyway, right, um links two, three, four, great. Ishville, Mutter, Spielo, Zwitter, I like Ryan Rouse sucks. Adios is great. There's one really crap song on the album, Mutter's good. Um But as a whole it's fantastic. But in number two, that goes to number three, at number two. 
Self-titled, it took a decade to make. And boy, was it worth it. 2019, this came out. What an album. Uh, <laughs> Deutschland Radio. Do you mind the radio? Great. Icelander, fantastic. Um, my favourite song on this is Vite Vague. Vite Vague. Um, it's really, again, I love the cynics. And I love Icelander as well. When when they do the metallic with the symphony, it's emotional. That's when they work best for me, Rammstein. Um, fantastic, fantastic album. Tant's Tattoo. Poupé, great. Sex is good. Zeke Dick. Deutschland, great way to open it. Sounds a bit like Hail to the King. With the guitar, having sevenfold vibes in there. And they just do it well. They're just back, slick, big and bombastic. And that is at number two. Which takes us to number one. My favourite Rammstein album. Oh, and while we're on Sonner, I forgot to show you the old album and the booklet. But I was too excited for this, so yeah. There you go. That's the original red. Not not like the, the later copy. That's with all the you know, stickers and everything. Anyway, number one after that. Fantastic album, by the way. Um, Rammstein self-titled. Absolutely fantastic. Great comeback. But for me, the ultimate body of Rammstein's work is... Aisa, Aisa. It captures the fun, which I do like if it works. Which it does on this. The fun's not... The fun doesn't take away from the songs on this. It's not cheap. It's actually cabaret and crafty. And very um, vaudeville at times with Los. But Rice and Ice, Mind Teal, Dalai Lama. Um, great. <laughs> kind of loosed. Los, America, Moscow. We only live down in Los. I thought it was a girl out of... Um, what they call now? All the things she said, all the things she said. <laughs> um, tattoo. You know. I mean, that's just like really stereotypical, and it just to think it'd be someone Russian or German. But Moscow, great. Morgenstern again. Morgenstern. Stein um Stein and Orna Dish. Fantastic song. Fantastic. Really emotional and a more. There's not a bad song on this album, as far as I'm concerned. It's it, it it takes mutter, but it, it just it, it's just a little bit more for me. There's less gaps, it feels more as a whole, it feels more complete than mutter for me. At first I didn't like it. I I, I lived on mutter for years, but Rice and Isa is better than that and Ramstein for me. It's the ultimate body of Ramstein because it's the good, the bad and the ugly all mixed in. It's fun, it's big, it's bombastic. Kind of loose, loose, Dalai, Dalai Lama. I love Moscow. America's a great song, but uh, the cold cock. It's almost like they're advertising and taking the piss out of that in a lot of the stuff. Coca Cola, wonder, blah. Wonderful. Yeah, is that right? I'm just imagining. Um, Coca Cola's wonderful. It's almost like they're taking the piss and being sardonic and. Tongue in cheek, which is great and loss. Very stereotypical way of crafting songs like they do on uh, Rose and Rock with TLD. It's almost like it's musical. And that's what they are, the theatre as well, the Rammstein. But nicer, nicer goes to number one in my list, guys. I didn't want to go past 20 minutes, I haven't done. It's only seven albums, but this is my favourite Rammstein album. It was sooner, but this just works on a whole, whole different level for me. Own a dish and ammo at the end. Um, it, it, there's not a bad song. It really works as a whole. Where Ryan, um, Ryan, Laos, on Mutter really lets that album down. I think and Zvitter and Adios are great, but they don't feel complete. Whereas this, it has, the scope is much better on Rice and Rice. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my vid. Check out my guitar covers. I do all sorts. My singing, anything, all of that. Music plays YouTube. It's all in there. I'll link it all. I do a podcast, Uzi Music Mania, as well. And um, check me on Insta, Uzi Plays. 
and yeah all my guitar stuff's on that instagram music plays but anyway forgetting all that i'm glad you enjoyed my list at number one Arisa Arisa is my favourite and I got it for free I met a guy from Luxembourg who this is no joke Alfie from Luxembourg who was at Huddersfield University which is in Manchester while studying and he was he was like him and his girl used to like chill and listen to Evanescence and that and he came in and he'd be like he's really deep into his music and his geeky stuff and all that and uh, he gave me this for free believe it or not and he was explaining the pronunciation of one dish and told me the pronunciations because he was from Luxembourg, so he knew a bit more about Germany than I do. Because he's obviously he's been there as well and travelled, but I got this album for free. So it's the best Rammstein album, and it was a freebie. I got it for free. I didn't have to buy it. And don't forget, at this time as well, you didn't work at Spotify, so you had to work your week's wage for an album. And a, someone from Luxembourg gives it, gives it you for free. Because he already had, like, other copies. But he had, like, loads of copies. It was, like, his favourite. But, yeah. Anyway. It weren't even a burned, like, oh, fantastic. What an album. And the back of this was the tour, the Volker Ball, which is all of this, virtually. Um, and it's the best album. It just, it suits the live show more. It's got the cabaret. Fantastic. I am out, guys. I'm glad you've enjoyed this video. Ramstein I'm, and I'm going to listen to this because it's powerful but it is fun and I, like I said I don't mind it being fun as long as the songs don't suffer I don't think they do I think the production is well executed more on this the use of the vocals the use of the synth the use of the guitar the bass all the layers work on this Ramstein in rich aplomb peace guys I'm glad you've enjoyed the video whether you do or don't comment tell me your list write it all down so much we do if you disagree that's cool and i hope you like my verder bremen verder bremen touch and it's not even mine it's my brother's but nothing's mine but yeah it's just just a little, little bit of a homage well make it a bit more german yeah right peace and now you know why i wear the hat but yeah lockdown anyway thanks i'm glad you enjoyed the video I'm out. Be safe.